This is what dreams are made of. Hey now, hey now. This is what dreams are made of. Hey, hey. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying out, I'm so excited, Nude Sticks collaboration with Hilary Duff and this is their Daydreamer collection. I'm so excited and a little shooketh about this collaboration or being able to test it out because I grew up watching Lizzie McGuire. Like every Saturday morning, I used to get up and watch Lizzie McGuire, That's So Raven, Proud Family, Kim Possible. If you know, you know, okay? So to say that this is an exciting collaboration for me to try out is an understatement. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you actually saw that I went to a brunch with Nude Sticks a few days ago and I got to meet the founders of the brand, Jenny and Taylor, which was so so awesome and it was amazing because they really took the time to sit down with us and educate us about the brand and for me this was my first encounter with nude sticks so the fact that the co-founders would actually you know take time to really sit with us and speak with us and you know educate us and really introduce us to the brand I felt like was just so amazing and they're just so humble you know what I mean it's always cool to meet some girl bosses especially you know Canadian girl bosses without being said I'm gonna zoom you guys in closer and we're gonna get into this tutorial okay so I already I already did my brows off camera just to save on time and I went in with my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the number 4.5. So this is what the makeup bag looks like. It says Daydreamer right on the bag. I remember Taylor mentioning the reason why she called her collection Daydreamer is because Hillary considers herself a daydreamer. So the first thing that we have in this packaging, this is their half moon face, lip, and eye glow. And it's basically like an iridescent highlighter. It may look white, but I remember when you apply it on, it's like a beautiful beautiful glow if you guys can see that's so pretty like if you blend it into your skin that will be a very nice you know iridescent glow for any skin tone and then right over here we have one of their nudies and this is the all over face color in the shade body language when you open it up on one side it comes with a brush that you can use to blend it which is really great for the audience that they're targeting which is a woman that's on the go a busy woman or someone who wants to do their makeup pretty fast and you know just be done and look effortless right and then on the other side they have their actual product so you can use it as a blush a lip color an eye color like anything so I'm gonna swatch it for you guys to see Oh, that's a really pretty pink. Oh, I really like that. I feel like that will work with my complexion as well. So inside this tin packaging was all of our cream eye products as well as our lip. I'm super excited to try these ones out the most because like I said, I'm not really used to using creams. So this is so outside of my comfort zone. And while I was at the brunch, they were nice enough to shade match me to their foundation. And this is their tinted cover foundation. And I'm really excited to try this because when Taylor was doing the masterclass and she put the foundation on the model it looked so beautiful on her skin so I'm so excited to have a really nice light coverage foundation I have the shade 7.5 it seemed like a perfect match and I also have three other nudies that they gave me and they call their stick products nudies just to let you guys know if you're wondering like what is she talking about and then she also gave me a bronzer and this is in the shade sunkiss and it's matte so I'm excited about that I love a matte bronzer okay I feel like I've talked enough we're finally gonna get into the eye look I went ahead and wiped off my concealer and everything because I feel like the whole cream and a set product obviously I should have known better that that never works so what I'm gonna do now is I'm thinking of using Sunkissed which is meant to be used as a bronzer as a transition color so I'm gonna go in with this Colourpop E2 brush and I'm just gonna pick up some of that product just start to work it on my lid It's super messy right now, but I'm just trying to get that color on my actual lid. Then I'm gonna go back in with another clean brush just to blend around the corners. Okay, I actually like that so much, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the shade Bright Eyes and I'm just gonna start applying that onto my lid. The one thing that I don't personally like about cream shadows is that they always crease on your lid, you know? They're not the most flattering, but I've been seeing so many good reviews of people saying that this one does not crease. Once you apply it to your lids, it's really not going anywhere. So I really hope I have that great experience with it as well. First, I was thinking I wouldn't use this shade Night Dweller, but now I think I'm gonna go for it because I did try a little bit of it lightly on my lid to see how I feel about it before I showed it to you guys because it's like, if it's not what I'm feeling, 
then I'm just gonna rub it off. I feel like it's gonna look super nice together if I blend these two shades into each other. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna take it on the outer corner and then taking my Sigma E25 blending brush, I'm gonna start to just blend it out the outer corner. I think I like how that looks so far. So I'm gonna leave the eyes as is and I'm gonna go into some foundation. So before we go in with foundation, I'm gonna take some of my Too Faced Hangover Primer and I'm just gonna go ahead and start working that onto my skin. And then now that our face is all prepped, I'm gonna go in with the Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation. And I have the shade 7.5, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this on their brush. And this is their Blend and Buff brush, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the bigger side. Yeah, I definitely feel like that is a good shade match. I'm not mad at it at all. I'm really loving how glowy and dewy my skin looks right now. So I just went ahead and opened up my hijab a little bit because I really didn't want to stain it with the foundation. And yeah, I honestly really like this shade. I feel like it's a really good match. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But so I'm going to go in with some concealer. Unfortunately, I don't have any concealer from them. So I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Super Coverage Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. And then I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender to blend it out But I really did wish I had their concealer to work with this very beautiful natural, you know Foundation that we have going on so maybe I might pick that up next time and I can give their concealer a try But for now we'll make do with the products that we have so far I love how this look still looks so glam with cream products Like I'm actually so shocked at how this look is coming together now I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes with the Bobbi Brown Loose Retouching Powder. And I'm just gonna pick up some of that on my sponge. And I'm just gonna make sure that I have no creasing underneath my eyes first. Now that we have our under eyes all done, I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. And this is the Sun Kiss bronzer that we used on our lids. And this is a cream bronzer. And guys, I'm extremely nervous because I don't cream contour, okay? I really hope this shade does not play me. It's more on the pinkier side, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I just wish it was a little more darker. I feel like I'd rather use this shade personally on my skin tone as a blush. And I think that's what I'm gonna keep it as for the future just because I feel like this is not dark enough it's not deep enough for me and it's more of like a pinkier undertone which I don't feel like goes very well with my skin tone so I'm just gonna go ahead with my cover effects bronzer in the shade suntan bronze and I'm just gonna use that to bronze up my skin instead the foundation is gorgeous though but I wasn't really feeling the bronzer on me personally interesting fact it was so crazy to know that one of the founders Jenny she's actually the creator of cover effects like i was so shook my hijab looks a hot mess right now <laughs> i can't even the lengths i'm taking to not stain this hijab hijab is back on point now and we're back in session so now i'm gonna go back in with some of the products from the hillary duff collection and i'm going to take the highlighter in the shade half moon and i'm gonna go ahead with some of that first on my nose as like a little nose highlight and then i'm gonna take some on my cheek then i'm gonna go in with the bottom of my beauty blender and just start to blend that out that is beautiful. I'm so here for it. Okay, Hillary. Sis did not come to play. She was like, I'm gonna make sure your makeup is on point. I got you guys. Yes, I knew Lizzie McGuire wasn't gonna play us. And now for blush, I'm gonna go in with the shade Body Language. Now that we are done with the face, I'm gonna go in with some lip product. This is their Lip and Cheek Balm. Okay, so this is what it looks like on its own. It's really pretty. I just definitely need a lip liner for it. Just gonna go ahead and try to deepen it a bit. And this is my Kaja Beauty Lipstick and Lip Liner Duo. And this is in the shade Daybreak. So I'm just gonna go ahead with some of that. And I'm just taking a little more of the shade Secret Keeper. I feel like that's definitely more of a nude for my complexion now. It definitely blended in a lot better. Okay, so what I want to do now is I actually want to go back into the eye products. And this is the shade Night Dweller that we used in the outer corners. I really want to use it at the bottom of my lash line to kind of like smoke it out a bit. 
a little longer than a few minutes later. All I did is go ahead and pop on my lashes and these are the velour lashes in the style Fluff Yeah. I really love this style because I feel like it really allows the eyeshadow to be seen, you know what I mean? Like it's not too much. And then also I went and switched my hijab because I feel like the lavender hijab that I had did not match the vibe of this makeup look. I feel like it was clashing. Now I'm just going in with some more of that highlight on my chin and on my forehead just because I feel like this highlight is so pretty. Pretty. I just want to be <laughs> blinding. I'm gonna go in a little bit more on my cupid's bow And then I'm gonna go back in with my nude sticks brush and this is their blend and buff brush And I'm just gonna start blending this I feel like this is gonna help make it a lot more natural just because this is what we use for the foundation So I feel like it's gonna blend it in beautifully for my cupid's bow I'm gonna go in with the smaller half and really start to blend it all in and then on my forehead Actually, I'm just gonna go in with the beauty blender because I feel like that blends it in a lot better and that is the look. I cannot believe how this turned out. Like, look at my skin, guys. This is the first cream shadow product that I've ever seen that actually sets. There's so many brands that say, oh my gosh, this will set, this will set, it will stay, and it never stays. That is why I've never done cream eyeshadows before on my channel. I just had so many bad experiences with them, I was just not doing it, but it stays. Like, I'm actually so surprised at how convenient that was for me to blend, how beautiful everything turned out. Oh, so my final thoughts on the Daydreamer collection as well as everything else that I tried today because this is low-key a little bit of a nude sticks first impression as well and everything that I've tried so far is so beautiful like I feel like this foundation is definitely a new favorite probably gonna finish this foundation so fast because I just love how it looks on my skin I'm gonna tell you guys right now I'm not a blush fan at all you guys already know this about me but this blush in the shade body language from the Daydreamer collection is so so beautiful and I'm definitely gonna start using that a lot more I'm just so shocked with how much I love all the products so maybe next time when I get my hands on a darker bronzer and their concealer I can do a very more natural everyday look using nude sticks maybe like a 10 minute glam using nude sticks so I think I'm gonna film that in the future but overall I give this collaboration a 10 out of 10 another really important thing that I want to tell you guys about the brand that I experienced at the brunch I feel like I I forgot to mention this earlier but one of the co-founders her name is Jenny she's talking to me about you know their sales and their experience in you know the Middle East and other Muslim countries they sell very well and they're very successful because you know how Islamically we have to pray five times a day right so for working women it's super convenient because what they would do is when they go to work or whatever they would always you know take off their makeup then go back in with their nude sticks product after they make wudu and since these products are so convenient and easy to blend and how they have like you know the brushes at the back of the product and everything you can just fit into your purse and do a quick glam in five minutes to you know refresh up your face it became very convenient for women over there to use on a daily basis and to me that really touched me because I feel like I've never seen a brand you know try to connect so hard with the Muslim community of course there's so many brands that are very versatile and have a lot of diversity like Fenty and all that stuff but to hear from like a CEO of a brand sit down with you and talk to you about how you you know they're learning these things about Islam and so that they can still you know accommodate our religious beliefs so the fact that they have so much education and knowledge in our deen or in our faith just really touched me in my heart so I just want to say thank you so much to Taylor and Jenny for you know doing so much research like I feel like it's 2019 and I know we shouldn't be thanking brands for you know being inclusive and everything but the fact that they did that much research and you know doing their makeup post making with you to me is like I've never heard that from another brand before in my life I just just feel like that in itself makes me want to support them and if you're Muslim and you love makeup I feel like we should definitely support brands that support us I'm gonna end my rambling there I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I know I was in shambles my hijab was a mess my airpods were showing it was just a whole mess but at the end of the day the look came out fire and it looks good and I'm like really happy about my skin and I gotta go take pictures before the lighting disappears if you guys did enjoy this tutorial make sure to give it a big thumbs up Make sure to comment your thoughts on the collection. What did you guys like the most? Also, make sure to turn on your bell notifications so you're notified whenever I upload. I upload every Thursday and Sunday, so support your girl. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the family because it would really mean a lot to me if you did. And like always, I'll see you guys in my next video.
who is she? I mean, she is giving you highlight for days. She is giving you thriving skin. Okay, I need to stop. Bye. <laughs>